Welcome to Leading the Way, a video series about addressing challenges in biomarker testing. Today, you will hear important insights about biomarker testing standardization in advanced ovarian cancer from Dr. Robert Neff, a gynecologic oncologist, and Ms. Courtney Rice, a genetic counselor from TriHealth Hospital Healthcare System based in Cincinnati, Ohio. Hi, I'm Dr. Robert Neff, a gynecologic oncologist at TriHealth. TriHealth is a Cincinnati-based healthcare system operating four hospitals and more than 140 sites of care. Today, I'm here with my colleague, Ms. Courtney Rice, who is a genetic counselor and our director of precision medicine. Courtney and I have worked together on biomarker standardization efforts to help meet the institutional goal of being a leader in oncology. Our top priority has always been to ensure that our patients receive the best care. Through precision medicine, we can better partner with our patients to customize their treatment plans. We are very proud of what we've accomplished with biomarker testing standardization at TriHealth, and we would like to share our story with you. In this series, we share strategies we use to standardize testing for homologous recombination deficiency, also referred to as HRD, in patients with advanced ovarian cancer. Here, we will share how we streamline our workflows to better meet the needs of our patients and providers. Our previous testing process was inconsistent, and as a result, testing rates were lower than desired. To address this challenge, we created a flexible workflow with patient care at the core. With this new approach, we standardized referrals to genetic counselors, streamlined our germline and somatic testing ordering process through our preferred testing lab. The first area we looked at was our referral process. Initially, the primary nurse in the clinic managed referrals to genetic counseling. The paperwork and coordination was overwhelming when added to all their patient responsibilities. Now, the gynecologic oncologist can directly place the referral within the electronic medical record, or EMR, during the initial patient consult. By embedding referrals directly into the EMR, this eliminated the need to keep track of paperwork and it helped us monitor patient status. Once patients had been referred for genetic counseling, they were contacted by the scheduler to set up an appointment. At this stage, some patients were reluctant to receive counseling. So we trained our schedulers on how to address many of these patients' concerns. This helped some patients understand the importance of genetic counseling and provided the assurance needed to move forward. The next area we standardized was our ordering process. Previously, the gynecologic oncologist referred patients to genetic counseling for germline testing and ordered somatic testing directly. However, we found this approach was inefficient and cumbersome. Now, genetic counselors are responsible for requesting both germline and somatic testing orders directly from the EMR. In addition to ordering tests, since genetic counselors have knowledge of somatic testing, they can also educate the patients on what to anticipate from the somatic test results. We found that this approach was more convenient for patients since test ordering is more streamlined and patients are now able to receive additional counseling. Further, this strategy also helped alleviate the workload burden for some of our providers. We also specified preferred labs to use for testing. While there are many commercial labs available for biomarker testing, we wanted to be able to order and view results directly within our EMR. We also wanted a testing lab with a wide range of offerings to meet our patients' various needs. So, our Precision Oncology Working Group carefully selected a lab that met these criteria across tumor types. It may not always be possible to address workflow challenges directly in the EMR. However, if you consider opportunities to bring efficiency to your process through standard approaches and ordering, this can help meet your patient's needs. As a result of these changes, more patients kept their appointments and were tested. This approach was more efficient and allowed our providers to focus on patient care rather than paperwork and coordination. Lastly, this workflow could be easily revised to include guideline updates and accommodate new testing needs. To hear more about approaches to testing standardization, please click the link below.